Why do mountains have a reddish orange glow during sunset and sunrise? Well, that's exactly what we'll be tackling in this video. For one, it's called an alpine glow. But why does it occur? Let's see. To understand alpine glows, we need to understand what happens during sunrise and sunset. Basically, the sun is below the horizon during such times. But what do we mean when we say the sun is below the horizon? In this picture, the person who will be seeing the sun from the first solar ray will see that it is set. But the person who will see the sun through the second solar ray as it is reflected from the cloud will see that the sun is just below the horizon. I repeat, in this picture, the person who will be seeing the sun from the first solar ray which is at the bottom will see that it is set, that the sun is set. But the person who will see the sun through the second solar ray as it is reflected from the cloud will see that the sun is just below the horizon. Now, let's think of an analogy where a mountain is present instead of the cloud. We will still see the sun below the horizon. But because of the mountain's solid structure, we will see certain rays of light scattered more than others. These happen to be the rays of light of colors that are at the end of the visible spectrum, like orange and red. This is why orange and red light are scattered more in such a scenario. And this is the reason why alpine glows are formed. So, let's have a quick recap and also understand this phenomenon from a perspective uh, of the structure of the earth. So, when we talk about the structure of the earth, we know it's a spherical uh, shape uh, in nature, right? So, basically one side of the earth faces the sun and the other side uh, does not face the sun. And the side which faces the sun receives the sun's direct rays. And the one that does not face the sun receives, uh, you know, does not receive the sun's direct rays. Which is why one experiences day and one experiences night. Right, something like in this picture. Now, the place in between is where uh, this phenomenon takes place. The alpine glows, most often, obviously. Now, here in these places in between, uh, you know, uh, somewhere in the center of the earth. Not in the sense of uh, like the equator, but rather longitudinally. Uh, in that sense, you will see that there are two rays of the sun as we discussed that uh, one person might see. The one is the lower ray of the sun, which is kind of direct and uh, it's because when we see the sun through those rays, it's like it's set. The sun is set. But the one that is uh, kind of, uh, you know, reflecting through the clouds, when we see the sun through the reflected rays of the clouds, what happens is that we see that the sun is below the horizon. We don't see it set. So, I repeat uh, that when we see the sun's rays directly in entering our eyes, what happens is that we see the sun is set. But when these rays reflect from the clouds, we see that the sun is below the horizon. This uh, happens during dawn, dusk. These are the times which ha uh, th these are the times that it happens. Right. And now, instead of the cloud, uh, when this phenomenon takes place through the reflection from the uh, mountains, what happens is that the mountains have a very solid structure, whereas the clouds have a very, uh, you know, they are water vapors, basically. So, therefore, the mountains, they kind of, uh, when they reflect the uh, reflect the white light, they uh, sometimes scatter the light. And orange and red light are most often scattered. And this scattering causes uh, the mountains to have this orange-red glow, which is called the alpine glows, of course. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.